Pucky came a Pucky bro. Alright, I'm Johnny Jungle Guts. And I'm Hannah the Queen, Kirk James Gauhan. And we're two nasty faggots here to talk about a very nasty episode of Game of Thrones. Watchers on the wall. So this week, things started out with a weird sex convo between Sam and Jon Snow. We all know what that's like when someone's kind of like... What was it like? And you don't really want to talk about it. It's like warm apple pie. Yeah, it was an American pie moment. Uh, and then, of course, this whole episode was completely dedicated to the conflict between the the Night's Watch and the, the, the Free Folk, yes. Some people have been complaining a little bit that the action was a little standard-seeming. I guess everyone was spoiled by that crazy shit on True Detective. But, Kirk really liked it. No, I think it was an epic episode of Game of Thrones. Probably one of the best in my opinion. Just because we've been waiting so long for a battle sequence like that. And in the books, there's plenty of them that get washed, you know, pulled to the side by, uh, by cost. And this one, they did not, you know, they did not fall short. So let's just do spoilers for this episode. I don't really care. It's not very common that you really don't know who to root for, and that's part of what makes Game of Thrones a special show, is that you're constantly just like thinking about what you even really want to happen while it's happening. I mean, honestly, they shouldn't even be fighting. They should just be uniting together to fight the White Walkers. And of course, Eric gets it. I mean, I sort of felt like that was, it was a more traditional kind of a death choice for Game of Thrones, like sort of like, I don't know, Braveheart, the girlfriend dies, but that's really different in a way because the female character in that, I don't know how empowered she is. I mean, and she says to him, we should have stayed in that cave. That was, that was gut-wrenching for me. It's killer. You know nothing, Jon Snow. And so yeah, I mean, I've been, personally, as someone who's read the books and who's a giant fan of Game of Thrones, I've been waiting all season to see a giant riding a fucking mammoth. Like, that was it for me. Now that that's over, like, the season can end, and I'm good with it. You know, the the, the disappointment of that episode, um, if, if anything, was the cliffhanger they left it at, because they dedicated the entire episode to the wall, and that the, the, the first battle ended, and it was over. They didn't, you don't get to see what happens, how the battle comes to a conclusion, which is, a great point and uh, I wish they would have presented that in in the episode but they kind of gave that to the side to let in this this personal dialogue of manhood if you notice every every character comes to terms with being in the Night's Watch and, and eventually becoming their own man if you see like it's all um, to me I don't believe war or violence makes a man it's the principles behind it that does duty, honor, integrity, you know, uh, discipline, perseverance, and you get to see that in all of them. All right, well, this was a pretty good episode of Game of Thrones. Can't really lie about it. I'm Johnny Jungle Guts. And I'm Kirk. Thanks for having me, Johnny. Oh, you're welcome. And this is Butters. And that's Butters.